What's up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's your boy, Richie Rich, at Consumer Plant Support. Man, you know we review appliances. Today, we're gonna focus on, in our opinion, the top microwave in 2024. So when we're looking at this flush mount microwave with turntable-free design made by Whirlpool, we say, hands down, this is the best microwave on the market. And to start that off, we're gonna start off with the functions and the features, all right? So you already know, man, this is our favorite part of the microwave when we discuss the function and features. We talk about the bells and whistles, what make this appliance or this microwave, in my opinion, without even doing any reviews, that it's the best microwave on the market. It's just from everything that I've seen so far, there's no other microwave on the market that has this particular feature, and that's like this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how it is the first flush built in over the range microwave. So when we're looking at any other microwave on the market except for this particular one, it normally sticks out from the cabinet. So it looks okay, we're so familiar with the way that it looks, it doesn't really bother, bother us as much unless it sticks out too far or it doesn't go across the cabinets and of course you can put different trims in between because we've installed a couple microwaves over the years where we had to put in some built-in trims to match up with the microwave so that there's no space in between because sometimes the microwaves are not as big as the cabinetry um, so you want to be able to do that to make sure it looks flush that it looks nice so if you have anybody come over it looks amazing but again for this particular microwave it's the only one on the market that's like this so it builds in with the same alignment with the cabinet. It doesn't go further the cabinet, it sits right there, right? So it's flush, built-in design um, with surrounding cabinets. So it's really, really nice. All right, so you can see that I'm in the store in Whirlpool, man, and I like how it looks. So this is how it looks traditionally. I know right now it's not flush with the cabinets, but again, you gotta factor in, it's in the store. All right, so you do have the glass that you see control panel here, right? It shows you the time. It also have um, plus one minute, plus five minute. It has the start. It has the, the fan, the light, cancel button. Um, everything that you see there in the beginning of it as far as on the control panel. Um, it's real sleek, real nice. Again, it does have, um, it doesn't have a turntable motor like your traditional microwave does. This design is not unique. Um, I would say the first time I saw something like this was typically in commercial microwaves. I used to do that years ago. I would say maybe, I don't know, um, 15 years ago, I guess. Um, so typically they don't have the turntable motor because if you're dealing with microwaves inside um, Fridays, inside McDonald's, KFC, those are more commercial-like settings. So their pots and plates are a lot heavier. So it's difficult to have a turntable motor directly underneath of it. It does have an antenna though, right? So rotates the the, um, the microwave so that your food can heat heat up evenly but it has a flush base like a, a tray like a silicone tray that go a silicone that goes around a tray it's like a glass so you can repair it traditionally when you're dealing with the commercial ones but I'm not sure if they have a part for this but again when we go to the parts portion of the video we'll look that up and we'll let you know all right so this is basically how it looks really nice um, easier to clean and that's one of the things so you can see the antenna circulating at the bottom there that I talked about it says easy easily clean the flat interior thanks to the turntable free design alright so that's one of the benefits of having this plant so this is the actual appliance how it look on the inside of it again it's easier to clean and that's one of the benefits we talked about this before just dealing with the microwave that we just did check out the uh, KitchenAid microwave that we just did that we just did on that particular model um, what can happen is when you use the microwave you heat stuff up if you don't clean it consistently then it's gonna stick and weld itself to the base of the microwave or the cavity of the microwave and what can happen is it create burn spots it can start arcing because every time you use the microwave you're reheating that food and it's burning um, the interior and it could damage the inside of the microwave and start to arc and spark and it looks like aluminum foil stuck inside the microwave and then of course you know you have to call us out to fix it all right, so you do have easy to clean microwave with turntable free design. You do have the self cleaning feature on it. So again, this is the um, the steam clean function, and this is what it looks like again on the outside. Plus one, plus five, stop, start. Um, you do have different options. You have the open button where you can open the door. Um, this again is the steaming function of the microwave. So I'm just going to stop there a little bit. 
um, to go back to the control panel right to give us a little bit more information on the functions and features what it has what it can do I'm just gonna stop the video right about there all right so let's get into this real quick all right, so microwave hood combination control guide. It says, warning to the re reduce the risk of fire, electrical shock, or injury to person. Read the important safety instructions located in the owner's manual before operating the appliance. Again, we always tell you guys to do that anyway. All right, so this is how it looks when you have the buttons on the door glass, right? We talked about it earlier. I mentioned it a couple times already. This is how it looks when the door is closed. This is how it looks on the inside display when the, um, when the door is open. So this is the actual control panel where you're able to press certain buttons activate the popcorn potato vegetables steam clean clear settings um, time power different options sounds you can put on mute so this is where all a lot of more of your options come from once you start to open up the door but again you can always add and reheat wherever that whatever it is that you're heating up by just adding these extra plus one or plus five minutes depending on what, what it is that you're looking at all right, so it says icons on display, upper text, upper text, and the lower text. You have a uh, demo icon. You also have your kitchen um, timer icon, your auto icon, vent fan icon. You have your vent light icon. You got your mute icon. And of course, you have your power level icon. So these are the different icons that you want to make sure that you get uh, familiar with so you know what it is that you you know what's what's operating what's going on what's the function what's the setting when you're using this particular microwave all right so again cooking start you can say you can start plus 30 seconds just like any other microwave you hit it it says the start button begins any oven function it says if cooking is interrupted by opening the door touching start button after the door is closed again will resume the preset setting all right so one of the things that we do recommend do not open your microwave as it's running the best option to um to to operate the microwave is if you have the stop or pause button we suggest pressing that again what normally happens when you're opening your microwave door um, electricity is running through the door switches of the microwave so you're interrupting the electricity or you're breaking the electricity while the microwave is opening always hit the stop button then open the door close it back then hit resume all right just for safety we talk about quick start for one minute quick start for five minutes your stop pause cooking function it says you can pause or stop cooking during a manual cycle is in progress by opening the door or pressing the stop and cancel button again we do not suggest just opening the door all right um, hit the stop and cancel button then open the door all right open the door touch the the open button to open the door so we're going to go into that as well and also we're going to talk about the vent fan turning it on and off easy you just see the button and just press it you have um, different option though um, though it says the high medium and low and of course you can turn it off it says the hood fan function can be operated independently all right um, it says to keep the microwave oven from overheating the fan um, the vent fan will automatically turn on if the temperature from the range or cooktop below the microwave oven gets too hot. All right, so these are one of the things that you want to look forward to. We suggest that you always turn the exhaust fan on, even if you have it on the lowest setting. That is better than not having it, having it on at all. So again, turn it on the lowest setting. Um, what that does, it allows the microwave to circulate the air and it doesn't cause your microwave to overheat. You do have the feature that it turns on automatically. This is pretty common in every microwave that I've worked with, um, that it comes on automatically if it senses um, the microwave is overheating from the cooktop at the bottom or the range that sits underneath of it. All right, so keep that in mind. It also has, here we're talking about when this occurs, the vent cannot be turned off. And that's another thing that you wanna get familiar with. The auto icon and the fan icon will turn on the display. All right, so this is where you wanna look at as well. The lights, you can turn it high, low, or off. And this is the hood lights underneath. Um, setting the clock, it says set the clock, pressing the set, the setting button repeatedly to reach um, clock submenu. 
and it says use the number keypads to set hour or minutes. All right, pretty straightforward there. Um, you do have sounds. It says set the sounds or the tones. Um, setting, it says set scrolling speed. All right, so you can also um, set the tones where you can um, press one button for, um, press the one button tones to volume scrolling on a display. So you can scroll between pressing the low volume, medium volume, or the high volume, which is buttons one, two, or three. All this will be displayed so you'll be able to see it um, and be able to have easy access and access and doing that. Um, set scrolling speed. It says press, uh, pressing settings repeatedly to reach scrolling speed sub menu press one two or three so that's the scrolling speed to see how fast everything scrolls of course easy just like your cell phone all these features um, which we should be somewhat familiar with when you have a smartphone um, your language another thing again you have English for one Spanish um, or press um, two for French so it all depends on what it is that you want. You do have options there. Um, reset um, your filters. Again, it says pressing setting um, repeatedly to reach filter reset submenu. Sub -menu. Press one to reset filter reminder scrolling on the display. Press one button to set. Um, pressing setting buttons on wait a um, few seconds will save. All right, so you can save it, reset it. Um, you have your active demo mode. It says pressing um, settings repeating, repeatedly to reach demo mode. Demo mode, press one to enable scrolling on the display. Press one button to activate the demo mode. It says press settings button or wait few seconds will save demo mode. Use setting to exit on the display once demo icon will be on. You can also deactivate or disable the demo mode as well. All right. Um, set factory settings. It says um, um, pressing the settings repeatedly to reach factory settings. So you press the one to reset the microwave to factory default scrolling on the display. Press one button to reset. All right. So again, you could do that. Um, kitchen timer. Clear the numbers you have. Of course, use the clear button to clear the numbers, which can um, um, which you have typed with the number pad. So you can do that. Pressing the clear button. You can also mute. Hold the mute the sounds. It says press and hold the clear hold buttons for around three seconds. All tones and sounds will be disabled. The mute icon will be displayed on the screen at all times. All right, so this is some settings that you can use if you like to mute it. Um, I think what's um, sometimes this might be um, like a like a Sabbath mode if you want to be able to do that. Just displaying that and turn that off if you like or you don't like hearing the noises or the sounds. You can mute that. Um, you do have the steam settings here. It says clean the, act, the cavity of the oven. And that's what they showed you inside the video. You can use a bowl and just hit the steam clean and go through that process. Um, set menu cooking. We have popcorn for sensing. So a lot of these are the sensing options that you have. Again, um, you can touch the popcorn button sensing depending on the ounces of popcorn, three to 3.5. Then close the door to hit start. Same thing for the potatoes. Same thing. You have small potato, twice large potatoes, touch the number button select potato quantity all right you have vegetables again does the same thing um, touch the vegetable button continuously to select options you have once fresh vegetables twice frozen vegetables so of course you select the sensing quantity um, the cook um, button um, continuously to select option to use button to select food size and quantity you have you defrost you have your reheat you have your melt right um you have your softener and of course you have your keep food warm options all right so that's all of the functions and the features there when we're talking about this particular microwave so let's roll the video so that we can get into it a little bit more so you'll be able to see that and this is the steam clean options again it's easy to clean easy to wipe up non-stick option is simple with a damp cloth one of the things i do like is the retractable vent hood right so when you hit the vent hood button Again, it retracts. You can see that in the actual store we was in. It scrolls out, and then of course it scrolls back after a few seconds of being idle and just sitting. It just retracts back. And again, this is the control panel that we just discussed with the popcorn, potatoes, vegetables, cook, defrost, reheat, all these different functions that you can use on this particular model of microwave, all right? And again, it is flush, built in, open the door. We really like how you press that button and the door just opens up. 
All right, so in the, in the store, it did not open back all the way. All right, so this is me just using my hand to pull it back all the way. So you, I, I do want you to be careful with that. I don't want you to think that it might just go all the way back. I know that the KitchenAid one that we did earlier, that one went all the way back, but this one didn't seem to go all the way back when we did it in the store. All right, so it might when you purchase it or it might not, but I'm just letting you know that it did not do that when we opened the door. All right, so let's look at some of these other options. All right, so again, electronics, um, oven control, control display, um, power tone, express tone, and valid tone, cooking time. All right, scroll speed, language, sounds, and these are all the things that we went over earlier. Filter resets, the setting options, demo mode, steam. All right, so it's telling you exactly how to do it. Of course, put 250 milliliters of water into a container, place the container directly on the middle of the cavity. Then of course, it says press the start clean button and the cleaning cycle duration will be visible on the display. It says when the cycle is finished, press the stop button, remove the container, use a soft cloth or a paper towel with mild detergent to clean the interior surface. All right, so of course they got different tips that you can use. We already talked about the factor reset, the timer. It says cooking in general guide. Um, you have also manual cooking as well. When you're able to do the power levels, um, again, 10% to 100% is up to you, right? So it shows you how to do that as well. Um, so this is what when we're cooking what could be according to the recommendations of the manufacturer what is recommended as far as cooking at 100%, 90%, 80%, 70% as well. But we're talking about <laughs> excuse me, different potatoes, one to four pieces, large potatoes, one to four pieces, depending on the ounces as well and the grams. This is how you actually do it according to the manufacturer's instructions. All right, so we like to go into some of these options. Again, getting a little bit deeper so that you'll be able to understand the microwave. And, I said, and re remember, all this is gonna be in the description box as well. So you want to be able to download that i'm going directly to that popcorn sense vegetable sense um cooking defrost all right so you want to be able to go on that you can go in um, cooking when you're talking about bacon rice manual cook oatmeal one to four cups scrambled eggs so you can do that in there as well uh, so you got um different options that you can choose from here but we're talking about um the defrost setting as well um going into reheat and melt you can melt chocolate you can melt butter you can melt cheese reheat reheat water coffee milk tea dinner plates casserole all this type of stuff depending on the cup and the quantity and of course it gives you the instructions inside of here as well um soften you got ice cream right you can soften ice cream you can soften cheese you can soften butter butter depending on one one stick 1.5 sticks two sticks um you're looking at soft and cream cheese three to eight ounces as well so again it goes into details and show exactly how to do it and how to use it all right pretty simple pretty easy um, again, you can check that out if you want to as well. All right, so I'm gonna let the video rock, video roll, get a little bit more into the microwave aspect of things. Um, fan, light, so this is underneath of it. You do have the filter that you can clean underneath of here. You can put this filter inside of your dishwasher or you can soak it in the sink. So we're gonna let this roll. You see the different lights, you can come on, different functions, different features there. So I do wanna also get into another part of this microwave just to give us a little bit more. It says the microwave hood combination, which is a quick start. So you do have the uh, clean the grease filters. That's a little bit different. It's telling you to disconnect the power to do so as well. Right, remove the grease filters by loosening the screw, sliding it out of the bottom plate. Remove the charcoal filter out of the grease filter. So the charcoal filter and the grease filters is connected. There are two separate filters though, but to get to it, you gotta remove the grease filter to get to the charcoal filter. All right, and it shows you how to do that. Hood vent, hood, um, hood light, hood fan, um, setting clock when first plugged, using the microwave oven to cook. Um, again, opening the vent doors and the doors as well. 
ordering parts again you got whirlpool information that you can get to so again you can let this sit again all this is going to be in the description box so when we finish up with this video you'll be able to have access to all this information here uh, but again outside of that man it's not a bad looking microwave again we like that it's flush and how it fits easy to clean we really really like that um, no turntable as well we like that we like how you press the button and the door just opens up as well um, really sleek really like the glass and how it fits um, a particular um, we really like it so again this is the functions and features I'm your boy Richie Rich I'm out of here man as we continue to work on this microwave peace <laughs>